I'm commissioned to do a portrait of two girls and at first I don't really know yet what I want to do. There are just so many things possible, especially if people want something else than just an ordinary portrait. Like the girls sitting in the interior of their house or they're sitting in a restaurant, a cafe or they're sitting in nature or in a park. And all these different themes I can make into different compositions as well. So what's it gonna be? Let's find out. But first I'm gonna go um, with one of the girls to a restaurant, cafe at Vliegerhuis here in Zwolle. I'm gonna make a sketch of her. This will be a quick, small painting, just to get some ideas. It's very important to have a good painting box when you are going to paint in a crowded place like this. As you can probably see, I had an exhibition at the moment that I was painting there as well. So a lot of my paintings were hanging in this restaurant. As usual, I cover my whole panel with a little bit of paint and a little bit of oil before I start. It's funny to see how she is sitting next to the painting almost the same way as the girl sitting on the painting, watching at her phone. Not really meant to be that way, but uh, it just happened. And that's always funny when things like that just happen. I wanted to make a new light painting here as well, but the problem was that it's too light outside, so you didn't really see the light from the phone. It needs to be a lot darker for the light from the phone to show up. The cool thing about working on a location like this is uh, you can have some fun, have some snacks, some beers. Not too much beer though, then I can't concentrate anymore, but uh, yeah, that was fun. And now some final pictures that I make with my phone to work on this sketch later in my studio. So the sketch I made in the Vliegerhuis, I later finished from the pictures I made while sitting there painting. And the result is this. But I don't want to continue with this one. I don't want to make a bigger painting out of this one. The composition is nice, but I thought it's not very personal for her because she does like this restaurant. but. It's of course much nicer to choose their home, much more personal, and make a painting there. After making all these pictures I made this sketch. And now I think I really know what I want to do. I want to make a diptych with a landscape that continues on the other side. A diptych are two paintings that belong together. And when the two paintings are together, it's one. First, I need to make uh, the paintings in a big size, in a monotone underpainting, so a black and white underpainting, and show it to the people that commissioned me for this painting. And then I wonder what they think of it. But I have a good feeling about this because here you can see on both paintings the landscape that's that you can see from out of their house and that's very personal that's something that those girls also remember from uh, living there so this means i need to go to their place again and make pictures of both girls charlotte and hilda and now i'm gonna make a serious series of pictures I went to their house to make many, many, many pictures and I mostly need to make many pictures because I need to see everything from a lot of different angles and with a lot of different light sources.
So this is the black and white painting, the undertone, the monotone, and the tone painting. And here uh, you can already see how it will become both girls sitting on the other side of the window. This is the start. So today I want to work on the face. I got to get some of that done today. I want to get the, f the second layer of the face well done. Mostly I do about four layers. And the second layer is the most important one. It's the most fun, but also the most difficult because if, you know, that layer is determining if the portrait's gonna be good or not. So this is gonna become very cool because there's a very cool light from outside and very warm light from the inside. So I really wanted to make this contrasting color. You've got contrasting color and you've got contrast in tone. And for this portrait I choose to have a lot of cool and warm contrast especially in her face color contrast therefore and this is the other side of the diptych the painting of Hilda here I wanted to have a huge part of the beautiful background that they see from out of their garden so this is the second part of the diptych the two paintings that belong together with this one I uh, I'll also start with the face, the second layer, and then from the face I will paint more around the painting. But I will spend like again one day on the face of the other girl, the diptych. There's a huge difference between portraits that look straight at you and portraits that you see from the side. In this one I choose to let Hilda look the other way, so this is en profil, you see her from the side. And um, I used to paint much more portraits in the beginning that were looking straight at you like 10 years ago or 8 years ago. But now I more and more start to paint people while you see them from the side or or a half side, I don't know how to call that, three quarters or something. One of the main differences is that when someone is looking straight at you, then it's much more like a portrait. But when you look at someone from the side, it's more like a painting. It has more a story to it, more a story besides the person itself looking at you. Well, yeah, I mean, besides the plain interaction and it has some something peaceful to it to let someone look to the other side because you're not constantly feeling your cut looking at the person or not so confronting having eye contact all the time there are a lot of psychological things going on when you make a portrait and I start to become more and more aware of these things during my career now. I start to realize here I do the hand. Hands are mostly quite difficult but I'm quite pleased with how this one's coming along. Next week I'll continue with these two portraits and I must say I feel very happy having to paint two such pretty girls for this commission. <laughs> Do 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 do